Hey everybody, Jay Burino here. Welcome back. It's the battle for Middle Earth 2. We're on the final mission of the Good Campaign, which is assaulting Dol Guldur. And this is the final mission of the entire base game. And then we've got the expansion, Rise of the Witch King, which has its own eight mission campaign as well. Let's get started. I expect this to be difficult. The Rivendell assault was also pretty difficult at the end of the Evil Campaign, but we also got Sauron and the Witch King at the end of it. And Sauron was insane with the abilities that he had. And we had a menagerie of heroes throughout the Good Campaign, and I assume they'll all be showing up. of Elf and Dwarf prepare to assault the evil fortress of Dol Guldur. The final battle of the war in the north is about to begin. Elves of the Golden Wood, hear me! We must cast out the shadow in the forest. Our allies from Mirkwood and Erebor will heed our signal. Galadrim, to battle! Elves, we must capture the signal right fires in the north realm. and south. Once taken, our reinforcements will be summoned in turn. Reveals an area of the map. Seize the signal fires in the north and southeast to summon aid from Mirkwood and Erebor. We also started with workers, so I guess we could start setting up Malorn trees or even our full base. So, Elrond has this group heal... He's got Farsight. I mean, we can use Farsight to even look here to see what's here. I mean, like, what if we... There it is! Seize the signal fire! Defy this evil! Go back to the shadow! Okay, let me go ahead and grab these workers. <clears throat> uh, what's going on with these spy... I guess just, like, casual spider dens. Not sure where these catapults are trying to go. We could also drop Tom Bombadil up there when it's time to go. Okay, we don't want to leave behind these the the we don't want to leave behind these uh these awful spider layers again. We got some great veterancy here. Worker, why don't you come over and pick these up? And I guess yeah, let's go ahead and set these up. Hey, maybe we can actually use earthquake to some good effect this time. Actually. We absolutely can by doing this. Yeah, let me tell you, I think we just go at this point. Ready your tools. Okay, you pick that up. Go ahead and set up our fortress, and I'm going to take all my units and head up there to the signal fire. Because the faster we can get more allies, the better, I imagine. We're finished with this structure. Let's just set up some more Malorn trees, move up here, get rid of these... Uh... Oh, hello. Get rid of that catapult. It, it seemed like we attacked it with barrage, and they just casually... Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. We gotta get rid of this. Um, and then they just casually... Uh, left their base to come and attack us. That far side seems really strong. We can use it to, like, look around and see what is where. That may be the main entrance to Dol Dol Guldur. Let me check this. Destroy all spider layers. Okay, well, that certainly can't hurt. Break that down. This is done. I'd like to get the Eregian Forge. Where is that? The sooner we can get that, the better. You guys go ahead and pick this stuff up. And then... It's a lovely song. Let's just go ahead and keep setting up more trees. Up towards the top where our army is going so that they're decently well defended. Then, let's keep going. What else can you do? Yeah, that far side's great. This is like an AoE heal. Yes. And then, leadership summons a destructive whirlwind. Heals 20% HP to nearby allies. Okay, cool. Dude, can I tell you? Tom Bombadil? And let's get in there. Uh, this is done. Let's get banner carriers and all that good stuff. Let's maybe also get some... Um, some towers to defend ourselves here. Okay, 
Okay, can axe throwers take care of this themselves? What I can do is throw down Men of Dale here to defend ourselves. I don't even know where those orcs came from. It seems like they just popped out of nowhere. Let's keep moving up here, because this group is doing fine. The, uh... Honestly, I think the, um... The globals we used up here were incredibly useful. Let's take care of these towers, and then we can take this ASAP. Go ahead and level up the structure. And bring, and just bring everybody up here. Get rid of these buildings. And then one of you go ahead and hit the signal fire. That will also reduce our global power cooldowns. So we want to take that as soon as possible. Orc pit down. There's another one down here. Let's far sight it. And then once Earthquake is up, we can use it down here again. We're almost able to get our next level 20. What's left here, by the way? Flood? Effective versus cavalry and buildings. But then we have Earthquake, which basically, it only seems to work on structures, but it was very useful. Calls a fiery beam of sunlight to scorch the battlefield and indiscriminately burn enemies and allies. Okay. All right. All right. It is done. The dwarves of Erebor should be on their way. Okay. Three minutes for them. Um, let's go ahead and get armor on these folks. And we got to focus on getting some upgrades here. Let's head on down here. Wait for our next group of allies to show up. This is getting upgraded, so we could get forged blades eventually. We, I think we just, we really just need more Malorn trees at this point. Keeping an eye out for where the enemy can get to us is going to be very important. And actually, there's might be a crossing right there. Let's head down and grab the next set of reinforcements as soon as possible. No far sight just yet. Let's cut our way across here. We want to make sure we keep killing um, spider dens as we find them. There might be one up there too. Okay, let's yeah, let's get rid of these towers. Um, the cooldown on earthquake is really long, so we might just have to take these these uh, units and bomb our way straight into into the enemy. Alternatively, let's grab flood. And we can use it right before going into that enemy area. We have a new to be done. Okay, workers, let's just keep it's the enemy base. Coming through. getting Malorn trees set up, as I mentioned. There is much to do. We must act now. Is this attackable? Oh, there's just another tower there. I think uh, using these cooldowns appropriately is really important. Go ahead and get these uh, these guys with their armor. Uh, are these mine? What is attacking? I don't actually know. Let's keep going for these. More trait, more trees. We want to get some units up that can defend themselves as well. That can defend our our actual base. Right, maybe one up here. And we can, when we get reinforcements, I don't, I, I assume they'll show up by the signal fire. Then we can just have them sort of defend this area. Oh, look out, look out. That's not going to save this guy, but <laughs> maybe you can run. Keep destroying the rubble. Okay, Erebor reinforcements very soon. Keep going for these uh, these silly spiderlings, and then we can use flood on that enemy area once we get there. Lone tower, sorry, you did your best, but it's not quite enough. Keep attacking this here too. Okay, Erebor showing up. Perfect location. It's King Dane. He's come to help us. Dwarves of the mountains, stand with you on this day. Dwarf and elf. Let us stand united against the shadow. Okay, you all, we're going to send you up here immediately, and then we're going to take our our dwarven workers, which had just shown up, and we're going to set this up right up here. Okay, uh, we're going to flood this right here. Okay, cool. Then let's head in. 
This way, elves. That did not destroy all of the. That did not destroy all of the uh, the catapults, which is the most important thing. I'm gonna send Elrond in here to hit the, the the catapults. I think we're all good. We got some attacks coming in down here as well. So let's grab this army, head down here to help. We do have these Ents here to help us. As long as we get these things set up here, this is this is spicy, but I think we're okay, especially because we're gonna get both signal fires. We know that there's a delay, so let's go ahead and take this as soon as possible. This is this is okay. This looks bad. It's gonna be okay. We can rebuild our Malorn trees. This gets set up, we throw some defense on it. Okay. Well, we've got all these other heroes. It looks like Dane and Glowin and Thranduil showed up. Breach the fortress of Dol Guldur. Okay. Don't worry. We got reinforcements coming in down here, and again, we can we'll set up our we'll set up our stuff. Our trees again. It's no problem. You all come on down here and clean this up. Spiders, go ahead and take these out. Pick up the, the treasure along the way. Thranduil, can I... Let me just mount you up and then run you up here to destroy the rubble of this spider thing. Because that is irritating. Then, this is still being built. Okay, okay. We have no free workers. Make some more workers, actually. This is just about done, so we can set up some defense. Can even give you a lone tower, and we'll get all the upgrades related to ta dwarven towers here momentarily. Just like this. Banners. Okay, that's actually all. That's all fine right now, and let's get an extra worker. And we'll start getting some mines set up. So army stay here. Destroy the rubble again, please. There we go. All spider layers destroyed. And then pick this up. And we could consider starting to attack now. It seems like the primary attacks from Dol Guldur come from this area. We can use Farsight to kind of see what's across these areas. Okay. Like an earthquake right there seems like it would be incredible. Let's go ahead and send these guys back here. And dwarves head back up in this direction. And then we need a forge work so we can get dwarven upgrades as soon as possible. And then a Regian forge needs to keep it up. Okay, it seems like we've claimed a lot of this area. Pick these up. Pick, 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 please. <laughs> there you go. Come on up here and help us out. Hall expansion, catapult expansion, catapult expansion. That's all good. And then Thranduil is getting up there. How do you? What is it exactly? No, that's Glorfindel. Thranduil should be showing up with uh, with the Merkwood reinforcements. We, this is the. These are the Erebor reinforcements. And there. Oh, and they showed up up here. That's interesting. King Thranduil has arrived with reinforcements. Thranduil. Okay, I was right. The northern woods will not cower from the darkness. Elves, Ents, follow my lead. Looks like a bunch of them. Oh, just it's because they're. Uh, I see. Never mind. Um, can I tell you something? I think we could just go ahead and come over here and start hitting these uh, these high ground um, catapults, and then we can just keep keep using Elrond to give me far sight, and we can kind of keep a, start a roll going here. Let's check like down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's what the Ents are kind of for. So we need, like I mentioned, we just want to get our, our units upgraded first and foremost. So like all of these down here, axe throwers, you can't get anything yet. That's fine. 
This cavalry's still alive. I'm actually shocked. So they keep coming from down here. But I think just having some solid defense here is fine. Like, that can hold those. Oh, can you maybe guys hit this? Why can't I heal this? Okay, well, they're actually going to destroy the wall and not the catapult itself, but that's acceptable. Let's see if maybe we could duck and weave here, Ents. It's like they can only hit the, the walls. Okay, that should do it. Back out. Good work. Um, earthquake is up. So let me go ahead. I think we're going to do it like this. Because we, we want to hit this gate and some of the buildings on the outskirts as well. Oh. <laughs> Nothing must be left standing. Destroy every foul pit and den of this wicked place. And I don't know what they're doing here, but let me tell you something. We're going to go ahead and hit him with the barrage. And we're going to watch it happen because it's going to be really satisfying to do. <laughs> okay, great. Then let's start throwing down some defenses here. And I'm going to bring this group up to the top. I'm going to cycle through my heroes and auto cast whatever can be. King Dane. Is he mounted currently? I don't think so. Anyway, yeah, we got to keep upgrading here. We got the, the Silverthorn arrows. I'm sorry, Ents. You know what? I don't even think we really... I hate to say it, but I don't think we need the Ents that much. Also, it seems like they're confused. Like, maybe the game expected you to set your base up here, and I just slightly moved where my stuff was. So this is what happened. So yeah, let's bring everybody up to the top. We're gonna, we're gonna upgrade everybody where possible. We got all of these folks, too. We're, like, way oversupply. Uh, okay, glow in. Those are all auto-cast. Shatter hammer. That's pretty awesome. And we're gonna dismount Glorfindel because Blade of Purity's better, in my opinion. He's got, like, the huge AoE healing, too. Eowyn has flood. It's just, like, straight-up flood. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then Thranduil, go ahead and turn Deadeye on. And then we use Q to select everybody. And you're going to go um, close range attack. And we're just going to walk over here. Then we're going to do what we're going to do. All right? Oh, oh, never mind, never mind. Back up, back up, back up. A great host of Mordor returns to defend the fortress. Okay, Silverthorn arrows, please. Again, again. Don't, 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 don't just run in there like that, buddies. There we go, we killed it. Uh, I did not expect that to happen. Again, we're just gonna... One thing before we move was to pay to get everybody upgraded that can be upgraded. Right, so we need to wait for these upgrades also. Pretty important stuff. Did I build these? Where did these come from? I mean, I'm not going to complain. They're slow, though. Okay, Dwarven Mithril Mail is good. Like, I have too many units in here, so it's kind of hard to tell. Because, <laughs> like, I know that I also have axe throwers in here that need upgraded. Let's maybe separate some of these units out properly. There we go. Forge blades, mithril mail, and we need uh we need banner carriers too. How do I how do I get banner carriers? Or do they already have a banner? Oh yeah, they already leveled up. Okay, again, I'm sort of I'm sort of like splitting out these units. There we go. We're gonna wait for all that to finish. 
Um, mortar counterattack in six minutes. We could wait for that. I'd say let's move into Dogledur. Start cleaning it out. We have more of these signal fires, which, you know, is definitely not a bad thing to have. We just got a buff, but I'm not entirely sure from what. What we can do is wait, is use flood on the, the mortar counterattack. And we gotta get up these ramps and attack these, uh, these catapults. I can also put towers inside their base. We could call in Men of Dale. You know, this is where we use our cooldowns for sure. Flood is also available. I'm gonna use it up here. That's quite good. Okay. Heal in the front, because we're getting roasted. I mean, we're not getting roasted, but you know. Keep moving in. Men of Dale actually doing the Lord's work. Turn on Tom Bombadil's ability. All my heroes also have all their stuff appropriately on autocast, so that's all fine. Okay, this is great. They're seemingly turning around to get to me. I don't know why I now have vision on all of Dol Guldur. I guess I shouldn't complain. We've got some uh, some Nazgul coming in, so... Uh, Merkwood Archers or Mithlon Archers, whichever one you are. Let's go ahead and target this thing down. It should go down really fast. Perfect. Keep attacking. Let's get up there and get rid of this section. Oh, is that a is that a dragon? I can't quite see. Oh, it's the oh, it's the worm. So they're telling me to destroy a castle. Also, we're very spread out. Again, I think we've got we've got plenty of units that that should take care of this slowly over time. Okay, take this out. A group of you come down and take this uh, take this signal fire. Three minutes. Um, I say we should probably come back here in the far back, and we want to be ready to use Cloud Break, and maybe we can even get the uh, the final uh, the final thing to destroy the counterattack. Let me check my objectives here. Seize all signal fires. Well, there's a, there's actually quite a lot of them. Okay. Yeah, you guys go and take care of that. Honestly, this single tower is killing it. It's doing great. You gotta get in there to kill these catapults. The catapults that hang out in the back do the most damage. Is this the, the only guy remaining in, the fa in this phalanx group? Okay. Destroy those. And, yeah, I don't really have any other good, uh, AoE-related things. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna keep our AoE stuff for with a counterattack as well. I think it's about time we back up and prepare for the counterattack also. We're, we're kind of gutting this base from the inside out, which is perfect. Now we have to constantly be attacking these, uh, these structures. Okay, we've destroyed the prison. Not sure what that's going to net us. That is a Balrog? We gotta just focus fire this thing down quick. It's gonna... This thing's gonna roast us, but it's almost dead. There we go. I was gonna say one more round should do it. Move up and take this signal fire. We've just about got that one. We took that one there. I'm gonna bring my whole army over in this direction so that we can just walk out the front door and meet the Mordor host as it spawns. That's my plan. Yeah, come on over here and take care of this. Are these towers? Yes. I'm not sure if we could actually kill these with this group. Never mind. Alright, we'll come back and do that. Everybody back out. 
that anything right there? I don't think so. Okay, so the, there are little spires that are towers. Um, where's another good earthquake location? Right here, I'd say. Calls a fire beam of sunlight to scorch the battlefield. Indiscriminately burns enemies and allies alike. Okay, so we do have to be cognizant of that. There's another signal fire up there. Let's focus down this, and then again, like I said, just walk out the front door. And Mordor is going to be counterattacking here very soon. So let's just head out. Um, there was probably a lot more that I could have done to prepare myself for this. Allow summoning of a giant eagle. I would like that. So let's just get whatever is remaining in order to do that. Yeah, these high ground towers are an issue, but that's alright. We just got rid of them all. And let's just head right out to the front, see where they're going to spawn, and just meet them head on with all our heroes, etc., etc. Uh, and Arwen has Flood. That is not where I expected that to be. Fiery Beam. <laughs> Men of Dale, Tom Bombadil. Uh, this is why I saved my my ultimates. And we're gonna bring our heroes up here, and we're gonna clean this up. Uh, use Black Arrow. Oh, they, oh, they don't have Black Arrows. They're summons. That's okay. They're still pretty good. And there was more to the host. It was all down there, but that's fine. We've cleaned out a lot of the inside of Dol Guldur already, and the, the follow-up is to try to capture all the signal fires. The Muma Kill are all gone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use um, Cloud Break. That will perhaps, yeah, uh, stun these fellas for a brief moment. We're going to bring our army back down here, go right back inside, and finish them up. Mostly dwarves got left behind. Oh, I'm still getting levels, by the way. So we should continue to get stuff. Um, I'd say we should grab elven wood. Because that's one thing that we could have had this whole time that would have helped. And we could even throw it down right here. This, this one troll is really causing me problems. These guys never got their upgrades. That hurts. I need to take one group back here to hit these catapults. Who got left behind? All of you, head back. He's just... There we go. I was going to say, he's just about dead. I feel like these melee units can take care of these... Um, oh, these Haradrim? Yeah. Great work. Okay, and Arwen still has her Flood available if we want to ever use that. There we go. Now let's reconsolidate our army and make our way back down. we got plenty of income to proceed... Um, it looks like the orcs don't know really what they're doing, so they can just keep, you know, doing whatever they're doing. They're going to, like, clump up in this area. Uh, so let's just let them do that. Let's head back inside and start and start taking the rest of the signal fires, which may or may not be important at all. There are still buildings left inside the fortress. We must destroy them. Our people are in danger. Okay. Every building, though? Repel the more. I guess repel the counterattack counts as coming down here and getting rid of this too. So let's let's walk back down here, or we could use our global flood, which should instant kill pretty much all of them. It's fine. Our army's right here. We can use flood on uh, really anything else. This looks like a juicy, juicy target right there. Perfect. They're rebuilding the, the wall defenses. Have we technically repelled the, the counterattack? I guess not. I don't know where there are actual units still standing around thinking that they're going to stop me. I'm still way over supply, which I love. I'm actually thinking we go ahead and mount up. 
any hero that can be mounted up. Except Glorfindel. I still like Glorfindel. I mean... I can just... I guess just do this. Okay, and it's going to take some time for my army to, you know, move around the map and do stuff, but eventually they'll get there. Um, and we're looking for signal fires before we destroy literally everything inside Dol Guldur. I guess that's kind of like the castle, so we should take that last. You know what, I think maybe these units... There we go, we've successfully repelled the Mordor counterattack. Let's head up here. Is Earthquake ready yet? I need to get rid of these, um... I need to get rid of these. Everybody just hit this. I think our... I think our Mirkwood Archers should take care of this. Oh, baby. Okay. Let's get in there. We gotta get rid of these, uh... These freestanding catapults. They're not freestanding, actually. We have to get rid of these, uh... Remaining catapults. But that shouldn't be a problem. Just keep moving in. We're gonna get rid of each of these remaining towers. The eye is indeed fixed on Rivendell, but don't worry about it, buddy. It's fine. Can these guys take, uh... Can these guys take this stuff? Yeah, they can. Okay, but how long... What's their timer? They might be able to get it in time. Just gotta keep getting rid of these, uh these towers. Again, I think I think Mordor just keeps rebuilding them, but that's okay. Yeah, close your gate. I'd be I'd be scared too. Then this one. Earthquake is back up too. Um maybe like here-ish. They're gonna get it. They are gonna get it. And then there's another one in here. Let's go ahead and hit this gate. Yeah, getting all the signal fires is surprisingly difficult, if only because there's so many of these towers that sort of sit around. It says 0% cooldown bonus, but... I guess, oh well, so we got that one. I think there's one more up here, and let me just double check there's not even another one somewhere. Let's check this. Destroy all freestanding mortar structures. Got it, okay. I think we can handle that. We're still significantly oversupply. Settlements. The settlements are fine. Okay, let's walk up here and take this one. Good work, Dwarven Tower. You're doing it. Again, I think this might be the last one. There you go. Okay, we're safe from it, so everybody just go ahead and take this as fast as possible. Hmm... Again, I don't know if there are more freestanding structures, so as soon as this castle gets destroyed, in theory, the mission will end. But I guess we'll go in and take this. There we go. All signal fires have been seized. We counter- we did the- we counter-attacked. Destroy all free- I- again, I assume, like, wall towers don't count as freestanding. So let's get this castle. Maybe if we would have destroyed this castle earlier, they wouldn't have been able to use global powers? Dude, we smashed this map. Now, to be fair, we didn't really have to worry about defense. With Sauron's forces defeated, Galadriel at last throws down the walls of Dol Guldur.
Got him. Yeah, we didn't get Galadriel at the end. You got Sauron at the end of uh, the the bad campaign. Galadriel here would have been awesome. Peace has returned to Middle Earth. The War of the Ring is over. I'd be really scared to stand on the edge of that that tower at the top of Minas Tirith. It doesn't seem like there are really proper guardrails or anything. Like one slight misstep and you're dead, you know? Hey, this was a fun game. But like I said, we got a whole extra campaign to play because we're playing Rise of the Witch King. Uh, I liked the evil campaign more in this game than I did the good campaign. I feel like the good campaign had a number of more gotcha moments, which is okay. I talked about this uh, when we were playing the, the evil campaign. I think it's okay, but at the same time, um, it did feel like it became a little egregious in the Erebor defense mission. Um, but I really enjoyed the end of both campaigns. They were very, very fun, and just having all your forces just show up and be able to be combined. I think evil just had more interesting tools. I think that the factions have a lot more parity than they did in the first game. But the the evil the evil uh, side has just more visually interesting units, and it just all around seems a little more well rounded. That's just my interpretation. All right, well, thanks everyone for joining me for Battle for Middle Earth 2. That that concludes this series, sort of. Like I said, there is an expansion we'll be playing next time, and I hope you'll be there to enjoy it with me. See ya.